Is this blush mask proof by healthcare worker standards? Hi! In this video, we'll be testing the Teviant Blush to Flush Blush On. I'm a healthcare worker by profession. And as a healthcare worker, we use different types of masks depending on which situation we are in. So in this video, we'll be testing this blush onto the three types of masks, the surgical mask, the KF94 mask, and the 3M mask. We'll be also doing a water test and a wear test. We'll be also doing a shade comparison to the famous NARS Orgasm blush because it is said that the Teviat is a dupe for the NARS Orgasm blush. I tested this for two months in the tropical weather of the Philippines. So this is not a first impressions review. I also bought this with my own money. So this video is not sponsored. I placed timestamps in the description box below just in case you want to watch a particular topic only. So if you want to know how this blush perform in these types of tests, then just keep on watching the video. This is what the packaging looks like. Very looks very egg elegant. And this has a rose gold chrome like packaging coating of the plastic and at the back you can see the name of the blush and also this is uh, cruelty free and two, two years expiry upon opening so once you open this you can see that there's a mirror and the mirror is a decent size mirror and you can see two shades here so this is June and this is Argil let me just swatch if this for you so both contains gold glitters uh, the argil has more the argil has more glitters compared to the june so let me just swatch this for you so this is uh june so this is what june looks like and we'll swatch the argil and this is what Agile looks like. Argil looks like. So there's a gold shimmer. And there's more for the Agile compared to the June. Now this is a dupe for NARS according to them. So we'll just compare this side by side with the NARS orgasm. I have here the trials at the smaller size orgasm. So we'll see how this compared to the NARS. So this is NARS. So as you can see, the NARS has a very sheer compared to the Teviant. And when you compare this side by side, the NARS Orgasm Blush has a more um, peachy tone to it compared to the Agile. This is which is, a, I think, a little closer to the NARS Orgasm. So, but this has a more pink hue to it compared to this one. So as you can see, when compared side by side the swatches, the Teviant has uh, more pink pigmentation compared to the NARS Orgasm. The NARS Orgasm has a more glittery or glitter, gold glitters compared to the Teviant. And it has a more uh, peachy shade compared to the Teviant. Let us now do a water test to see if this is waterproof. So when compared, uh, NARS Orgasm is not waterproof, the Agile is uh, not waterproof, but the June has a little bit of uh, tint that it leaves. I put on already my base makeup, so I have the uh, face mist eh, on top of that uh, sunblock and a layer of cushion foundation which specifically is the Espar cushion foundation. I'll do this side as uh, Dune and this one as Argil. This is long lasting as well in my experience wearing this for 2 months already. After using this for already two, around 2 months, uh, this blush on is quite long lasting. It can last for around 6 to 8 hours without any changes. 
And now we'll proceed to the surgical mask test. smudging of the mask. Here, let me show you a closer look. Hi! So, we'll be testing the Tevian Troset for KF94 mask and this is my before my before blush. Before I put on the mask. Testing out the Deviant Blush uh, KF94 mask. This is my before the mask. And now, the most difficult mask, the 3M mask. Okay, so this is, I have in my face the Tevian blush. And we'll test this onto 3M mask to see if it is mask proof. This is after 2 hours of wear so for the Tevian the blush there's no smudging onto the mask this is what it looks like after four hours and there's no smudging of the Tevian blush on so this is after eight hours of wear for the Tevian We still have here after eight hours, Tevia. Overall, I really love this blush. It's long lasting and mask proof for the three types of masks. Not only that, it gives you that pretty bridal glow. Packaging looks elegant, sturdy, and very high end for a local brand. What I don't like about this blush is that it is super super pigmented, so it gives you only a little room for error. If this video helped you in deciding whether to buy or not this blush on, please give this video a thumbs up. And please subscribe to this channel for makeup related, craft related, and medicine related videos. Bye bye! Is this fast mask? Timestamps in the description box below just in case you want to look to watch. And please subscribe to this 